Hi, my name is Matt and in this video I will explain to you why service virtualization and API testing is a hidden gem of the SAP testing. Imagine that you are in the front of your digital transformation project and you are upgrading your ECC system to the SAP s hana It doesn't matter what is the flavor of an upgrade, whether this is the selective data transformation, brownfield or greenfield. Regardless of the flavor, your SAP ECC is connected to lots of other systems. On the one hand, you can have lots of the third-party applications managed outside of the SAP. For example, warehousing management systems, transport management systems, and HR systems. On the other hand, you have all the partners with whom you are doing a daily business. Most of the business processes are done with the communications with suppliers, partners, and applications outside of the SAP landscape. We can then say that most of the companies in the world sell, buy, or ship through the integration with those apps and partners. It means that for the SAP s hana migration, whenever we want to test something, for example, the adjusted ABAP code, new business process, or not change business process or code, to make sure that it's working seamlessly, we need to make sure that those applications, legacy systems, and EDI partners are available at exactly the same time when the SAP team wants to perform the testing. As you probably imagine, in real life, if the company has dozens or hundreds of those apps and partners, many of them are not available for testing. And in addition, if they are available, it's difficult to coordinate to make sure that the resources from them are available at the specific time when your SAP team wants to test something. Then it means that the whole SAP project team has to wait. What then usually happens? Either the SAP s hana program takes longer or the scope of the testing is significantly reduced. This results in a missed deadline or much lower quality of the migration. So, what is the alternative, you may ask? The answer, and the question at the same time, is why don't we simulate partners and applications to isolate our SAP system and remove those dependencies from them? This is possible because usually in the process of migration to the S4 system, your EDI partners, external applications, they will not change they will keep on sending the same messages that they sent to your ECC. They would expect that they will receive also the same format of messages that you were sending before the migration. You can remove this dependency on the external applications with the int for suite, which speeds up the testing time and mitigates the risk of delays in two steps. In the first step, int for suite removes the dependency by our service virtualization tailored specifically for SAP. It leverages the historical messages exchanged with those partners and applications that you already have. int for robotic crawler can automatically create test cases based on those historical messages and categorize them to the relevant scenarios. Thanks to this, there is no need to any tedious and complex scripts creation. You can just reuse communications that you already have. Once the messages are collected, functional integration or development teams can just repeat them and send them whenever necessary to the dev or QA environment. Once the dependency on the external systems is removed in the first step, in the second step, int for suite can automatically validate and compare the reference business document processing and posting from ECC to the actual tested message and posting in the new s hana environment. What is beautiful is that int for service filterization can be used during the project, but also after it to support regression testing. To sum it up, with the int for suite service virtualization, you can remove the delays related to the external system dependencies and test faster and independently that allows for a larger testing scope that in the end improves the quality assurance thanks to the early testing with the shift left approach. Thank you for watching.